Normal hilum anatomy in one with dorsal vena porta and ventral ductus chelidus. Please note the intercrossing right branch of arteria hepatica. A fine anatomy in two again, including pylorus and antral mucosa. Slightly but significantly dilated ductus curitorus after EST endoscopic sphincterotomy of the incarcerated stone are displayed in three new place the cystic stump. The stones in the slightly but significantly distended ductus curitorus and prepapillary in four once more in echoscopia. Many small stones before the papilla in another case in five once more again and before extraction. After EST and extraction of the same concretions as before, you see it in endoscopy now in six. In seven, massive dilatation of intra and extrahepatic bile ducts is displayed in the course of a pain free pancreatic carcinoma. Another massive and probably long standing dilatation in eight. Please note the intercrossing. There was no pain with the patient. It was only jaundice. In 9 to 10, a duodenal diverticulum is displayed a source of disturbing gas and ingesta masses. The possible implication of this finding is still unclear. A classical dull lithiasis in 11. It is shown directly or at least suspected in more than 80% of the cases. A typical complication in laparoscopic cholecystectomy is shown in 12 to 13, a stenosis with clipping of cholidos more marked in 12 than in 13, respectively. Sludge masses not only in the gallbladder but in the hepatocoteus as well in 14A and even in triapatic in 14B in another case. After EST, no endoscopic controls, only echographic one, are needed as seen in 15 to 17 with Arabidia. Re-interventions, however, are needed with residual concretions. Arabidia is displayed nicely in 16, both in US and X-ray. Different cases. Here, in case 18, on day 3 after laparotomy, abdominal colics were observed in the end. It was abscess formation on the operation side, leading to portal gas inflow into the portal system. Two different cases in 19 are telling a story of picture quality enhancement during all these years. Biductal stenosis in pancreatic head tumor 
and stent insufficiency in draining are shown in 20. Twenty one shows a well functioning biliary plastic stent with erubilia. As known from the patient's history, it is in twenty two a mixture of gas and blood filling the bile ducts and the gallbladder too after a complicated liver puncture. Endoscopy proved that. Suspicion. The stent got lost in the ductus hepaticus and residual concrements are seen as well in 23 as a second stent still drains. Another series of stent malfunctions is in 24 to 31b. In 24, it is lost in the cum bioduct, a CBD with a stone at the proximal ending. In 25 to 26, it got lost in the tumor masses and or the cystic duct, 26b. Please note the fine powders. And in 27 to 31b, it is partly obturated. Before endoscopic revision was done. Please note the self-expanding metallic stent in 29 and the plastic stand in 30. And please note it too, especially the fine and normal anatomy, so to say a topographical anatomy in addition, with, for example, the right renal artery under crossing the cava inferior and the diaphragma, the psoas or intestinal structures in 31A and B. Occluded stents often become symptomatic. Accordingly, and as shown in 32A, the patient suffered from severe fever and diffuse abdominal pain. Both the hepaticus branches in 33A are slightly but significantly widened. This is in 33B gone by sufficient separate. Please note in 34 the fine arabidia inside the stent and please note lymph adenopathy too. This stent in 35 is still sufficient but only partly draining. Whereas this stent in 36 near the conference is correctly placed and well functioning. Please note the slight wall thickening and the multiple lymph nodes and the good drainage in 37. Despite nearly reached by the tumor masses as well, this stent in 38 is still partly draining. This well-functioning plastic stent bridges over multiple lymph nodes. Please note the two stents well-functioning. A well-draining PTDD 
is seen in case 41. Sludge masses in 42 in a distant DHC before endoscopic drainage is performed. These masses in case 43 are anatomically marked by the normally intercrossing right branch of the hepatic artery. Tumor thrombosis, a typical finding for HCC in 44. Another HCC tumor thrombosis is displayed in 45 as well. Please note the tumor vascularization. These very old confessions in 46A and B did not cause the otherwise regular stone shadowing. A long-standing thrombosis of the portal vein caused the changes of portal transformation as it is demonstrated in 47. After EST, this wall thickening was to be found the day after as well as a residual detention of the DHC which vanished the days following. Before operation and as a bridging therapy in specific cases, usually old patients, even transcutaneous drainage is debatable in a given case. High frequency examination showed in this case number 50 correct stent position and function. After extraction of the stent implanted months before in 51, a wall thickening could be observed still few days later.